Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear students, once again I am with you people uh, with the course Agro 508 Forage and Fodder Production. Uh, the title uh, now today uh, for my presentation is Preparation of Fodder Calendar. It's a re very serious issue uh, with farming community. Those uh, uh, our farmers who have livestock, they have serious problem uh, of uh, forage feeding to their livestock. So, so it's a very, very important that how around the years, what kind of fodder forages we have to grow and uh, how long period they will grow and then how much time it will take to feed the livestock and then the next uh, what kind of fodder we have to sow. In this way, the whole uh, year you have to see that what kind of fodder forages we have to feed. So this is called the fodder calendar. Calendar usually you have the schedule of summer and winter and autumn and spring uh, like your semesters. Similarly fodder calendar is for livestock feeding as well. So let's say that uh, you start from any season. Let's say that the winter season uh, it starts from uh, November, December, January and then uh, almost half month of uh, uh, February. So this is the harsh winter season, cold temperature. You know this, uh, this is the scarcity period. We usually uh, see this the deficient uh, period for uh, forages. And similarly uh, in summer and other uh, uh, in our Pakistani climatic condition we have other uh, fodder scarcity period which is in summer uh, from starting from April until uh, uh, goes it to July. So this is uh, April, May, June, three months al almost. This is another scarcity period. The, in our situation in Pakistan it's a severe uh, hot season and the growth of the plant uh, is not sufficient and thus the fodder scarcity occur for livestock as well. You know that we have made uh, uh, silage and hay uh, to feed our livestock in this. You people are, 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 uh, are already trying to make the uh, silage uh, and performing your experiment as well. Uh, let's the other periods, what, uh, what time we have to sow in, uh, usually we have two uh, seasons, winter season and summer seasons. But if you uh, want to divide those uh, around the periods, we have winter season, we have uh, spring season, we have summer season and then we have autumn seasons. So for winter you usually know uh, that in uh, September, October we sow the winter uh, uh, fodders. In se September, usually you grow uh, oat, barley, uh, triticale, uh, rye, uh, brassica, uh, bersim, uh, fodder, uh, mutter, and uh, vetch. Uh, so these are some, there may be some other fodder for that we can grow in this seasons. So usually uh, farming community you know that they uh, not sometimes they use single, sometimes they mix it. But if you grow in the mix, uh, legume and uh, uh, cereals in a mixed proportion, it's a wonderful. And I have told you already that 70-30 uh, ratio of the cereal legume is good for fodder production and its quality as well. <coughs> And uh, next uh, season is uh, spring season. In uh, Purha regions, this year I have already wa shared one video with you people about spring maize. Uh, so those areas which cannot be sown, we can grow spring maize. Yeah, uh, or you can say that uh, the in Purha region we can grow the cash crop uh, groundnut. And when we dig out the groundnut, usually our uh, uh, wheat is late, so leave that, uh, when farmer leave that uh, area. 
so we can use that area for spring swing and similarly for any other reasons uh, any area that is left in uh, winter swing we can use it in summer swing under the climate current climate scenario and we have very in uh, from the last two three years we are gr growing uh, fodder uh, maize millet sorghum uh, in uh, Puthar region uh, for uh, fodder production but this year first time I have grown uh, maize and soya bean up till grown maturity and we have very good uh, yesterday I have sh shown uh, to uh, pro vice chancellor as well he, he too was quite happy to see the size of the uh, cobs and the grains of the soya bean that how we can utilize our plants in this season as well so uh, after spring and you can grow in spring uh, uh, maize soya bean cowpea uh, sorghum millet uh, sesbenia uh, so this kind of uh, fodder uh, forages you can grow and these can go up even up to uh, august even they can uh, cover the autumn season but uh, when you see that their periods usually these uh, most of the fodder forages are uh, uh, three to four months periods and uh, you can take if you uh, grow the fodder forages I have already mentioned with you that if you grow the fodder forages instead of other crops usually our in Porha region you know there is a mono monocropping system but when you grow the fodder forage you can take two to three crops uh, in under Puthar situations and even in irrigated conditions where the water availability is you can take another uh, one more crop so in this way you can take three to four crops under irrigated condition while the normal crops you can take uh, two crops winter as well as summer usually you see in uh, wheat rice system cotton uh, wheat uh, system so in these uh, areas you see that only the farmer take two but if we if we grow the uh, forages we can have more so in this way uh, the farmers have uh, more profit from this so these are the uh, uh, some and in uh, brassica is the uh, is another very good crop in uh, under uh, dry seasons that we can grow in winter as well so these are the crops like round the ears how we can grow different fodder forages and in uh, when there is a sufficient uh, uh, fodder forages like February, March we can make it silage or hay similarly in uh, uh, July, August we can uh, uh, use for that uh, hay and silage. So in this way all the round the ears we can feed our livestock with this. Thank you very much, uh, my dear student. If you have any query, let me know, please. Thanks.